The study of energy is a very general aspect of physics and central to our human experience. It allows us to relate many seemingly different aspects of our world, as energy comes in so many forms. So what exactly is energy? Common definitions of energy include Energy is a property of objects which can be transferred to other objects or converted into different forms. Hmm, that's kind of vague, eh? Or, energy is the ability to do work, which is a definition which can be somewhat confusing in that energy conversions don't always involve work. So, bottom line, although energy is a huge part of our existence, it's actually kind of hard to define. The easiest way to begin to understand energy is often to consider some examples. Your body and all living things convert energy. Your body takes the chemical energy from the food you eat and allows your body to grow and to move. We call the energy of movement kinetic energy. Light bulbs, they're also energy converters. They convert electrical energy to light energy. Cars also convert energy. Cars convert chemical energy, stored in gasoline, into kinetic energy as they move. Speakers. Speakers convert electrical energy into sound energy, pressurized waves moving through the air. A stove or oven simply converts electrical energy into heat energy, also called thermal energy. So at this point, you probably realize that we use a lot of electrical energy to convert into other forms these days. So where does all this electrical energy come from? Well, we can generate electrical energy by converting chemical energy in the form of gas or oil or coal into electrical energy using a power plant. Or even better, we're learning how to better convert solar energy, that is energy from the sun, and wind energy into electrical energy, using solar panels and windmills. We can also generate electrical energy using nuclear energy. And nuclear energy involves splitting apart the nucleus of an atom, which provides us with energy. You can also generate energy by combining the nuclei, but that's far more difficult. As you can see, energy and energy converters are everywhere. Energy is a very central part of our existence. In fact, as explained by the famous physicist Albert Einstein, we and everything around us is a form of energy. Mass and energy are different forms of the same thing. 